We are back, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Special episode of A Trip to the Thrift. I think it's number 23 today. We've got a few really good mates with me today as well. First time I've had some mates out thrifting with me. We've got Paul, we've got Caitlin, and we've got Geordie up the back. Um, we're going to do four op shops today, hopefully find some treasure. Excited to get you along for the ride today. Uh, we're right here at the first one, so let's get into it. Okay guys, first off shop of the day, all wrapped up. I'll tell you what, we've started pretty strong. Um, I'll tell you, it actually helps when you've got four people searching for items. You, you generally find a little bit more, which is good. We have certainly found a heap more and uh, I won't go through everything that we've found today. I've spent about 75 bucks in this first op shop, which is a great result. Um, my couple of goodies that I've found that I want to have a quick chat about was this Lakers uh, jersey, and it's got Kobe Bryant on the back, and it's a number eight, vintage Kobe. You've got to love that. So I reckon we'll probably get 25 to $30. It is a fake, and I generally sell the fakes for around that price. Um, well, we found this as well. So this was, I found this one actually. <laughs> this was $75 on eBay, if you can believe. It was our generation, it's a kid's doll. Um, and this one was going for just seven bucks in the op shop. So I couldn't say no to that. It is boxed and whenever you buy toys, especially if you can't buy it boxed, you're always gonna make a few more dollars. So that was a really good result there. Um, Paul, you, what'd you find? Uh, I found an XL uh, spring suit uh, in pretty good nick. So I, I do a bit of um, I do a bit of wetsuit purchasing because they do go on to sell pretty well. XL is a good brand. I haven't bought XL before, so I'll be pretty interested to see how that one goes. What size is that? Uh, we said that was a medium. It's a medium, so yeah. that's that's not too bad. Um, CK, what have you got? You got a couple I of goodies. Got a Q dress. So we've got a Q dress. dress. Now I'm okay. absolutely I'm absolutely wrapped today because um, CK Caitlin's out and she can obviously let all the girls that are watching you're going to love this because CK's going to have a few really great brands that I would never normally buy. So the first one here is Q and how much was this one? I think it was ten dollars. Ten dollars. So we're going to try our best to get thirty or forty for this one. Um, I I would never have bought this if she wasn't with me today. So I'm absolutely wrapped to get my hands on that and we'll give it a go. We'll see how it goes and then. And the Adriano Goldschmied. Adriano Goldschmied. <laughs> I would never have I would never have bought this. But this looks pretty cool. What is it? Just a, a denim it's skirt. A so it's a denim skirt. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce the name again because I would absolutely muff it. But um, what size is this? It's like an eight or so. It's a size eight. Um, eight, eight ten. Looks cool. I don't know, girls, let me know in the comments. What do you think? Is that a good buy? We've paid how much? Four bucks? Four oh, bucks. Four bucks. Yeah. So an absolute steal there, I reckon. That'll go on to sell for a few. Uh, but, but we have, I'll tell you what, my mate Geordie here, he, how often do you thrift, Jay? Zero. Zero. He's a first time thrifter yeah. and he's rolled into the first op shop, had a look in the clothing rack, thought, let's just have a crack. And he's found probably what could be, I don't want to shoot it too soon, but it could be the best of the day. Chuck it over here, Jay. We have found unbelievable the australian rugby league jersey and it's and it's signed it's got a stack of signatures there's probably about 10 10 to 12 signatures on there um this is an absolute gem i don't know the exact comps i haven't bothered to look into it because it was only eight dollars just eight bucks for this thing it's a 2xl it is a complete genuine product um there's a bit of sponsorship on the back as well and there's a heap more <laughs> signatures on the back too so Look, $8, I'm going to have a guess and say about 150 This would be a great item if it was framed up. Um, so we'll see how we go with that one. But Jay, unbelievable, mate. You've probably found the best of the day so far. That is just incredible. Uh, so we'll do really well on that one. And that's a good one to round out the first op shop. So let's get into the second one. We're only just around the corner, so we'll dive into that. And fingers crossed we can find more stuff like this because that is just a beauty.
Rob shop number two, all done, guys. Complete. How did we go there? I think very well. Good. Got one. Yeah, yeah a couple of good things. I think we were we were good in the sense that we only bought a couple of things, but geez, they were a couple of really good things. Um, we might start with this one. Mm -hmm. So we found the box sets. Now you guys know watching this channel that I get these box sets whenever I find them, and I haven't found the West Wing before. It does suck that it's not in a case because you make a few more dollars when it's in the case. Uh, but still, one to seven, seasons one to seven, and there were some comps that I'll whack up here for you. And they go for around 70 bucks, 70 to maybe even 60 bucks, um, free postage on that. And we've paid $10. So hopefully you can, yeah, there it is there, 10 bucks. The 10 bucks for that, I reckon take fees and everything, probably gonna make about 40 to $50 on that one. So box sets, keep an eye out. West Wing goes well, comps are good. Um, we also found this bag as well. So this bag, Personally, I would never, I would never look in the bags. And CK found this one today. The brand was uh, Anello. Japan Anello, brand. yeah. So we think it's a Japan brand, um, Anello, and it's a baby um, bag. Yeah, it's a, yeah, a baby bag. And yeah. the comps were amazing. Yeah, great. Not so bad, Nick. What do we pay? Five bucks. Pay just five bucks. Uh, this is in really good condition. Um, like I said, it's not something that I would normally look for, just personally because I don't normally buy it. So I wouldn't spend time in the, in the thrift stores looking for it. Um, but that's why it's cool to go out with friends because they go into certain areas that you don't normally go into. And um, CK's found a few really good ones so far, this okay. included. Um, so that was it. We only bought three items and we spent $15. So not too bad of a second run because you don't always find stuff in the op shops, as you know. And two op shops in, we've already come up with some good stuff. So we'll go to op shop number three now. We're having a pretty good day so far. Mm -hmm. We're feeling pretty good. Geordie, how are you going? Yeah, doing really well. Doing well. Yeah, one more. Yeah, one more. And uh, fingers crossed we can, uh, yeah, get some really cool stuff in the next one. Let's do it. shop number three all wrapped up spent a bit of time in there i will say that one probably wasn't the best of the three that we've been in i've been in this store a number of times and unfortunately they do mark up a lot of their clothing brands tommy hilfiger for one i saw a stack of it in there but everything was sort of 12 dollars plus i think it was the same with the women's range as well any good brand was always marked up and unfortunately you just can't strike but we did find a couple of things and you know i love my board shorts i just found this really nice pair of gray billabong boardies i think they were five dollars and i just love to collect them when i find them because you can get upwards of 20 bucks um, when you sell those and i do quite a few but this was a really interesting one that uh that geordie's found here hiding in the book section and there was a bit of interest for mine i kind of like this there was this anatomy book now I've sold a physio book for about $90. There were two books actually for $90. This one's definitely nowhere near that. This one comps for around 15 to 17, but it was more actually what came along with it. We found these things and it was sort of a, you wanna hold that one up? It was sort of like a half 26 centimeter anatomy body and it came with the book. So it's definitely part of a set and it's got all of the um, inside bits and pieces here as well. And there's a manual. Um, so there were a few things talking to me and there were a few comps in there talking to me as well around the $50 mark. Um, so we've got all the pieces. I don't think there's any missing pieces in this, but we'll have to do a bit of a look into it. We've paid $10. So I figure if we can sell this for about 25 to 30, maybe even a bit more, we sell the book off for 15. We make it a bundled pack of maybe $60 free postage. We've only paid $10 and I kind of like it because it's just not something I would normally buy. And I do like to obviously give a new things a go. 
Um, so I'm, I'm a bit excited to see what we can do with this one. I think the, the human anatomy type stuff, anything sort of medical and science based, sells pretty well. So we're just going to see and uh, I'll keep you guys updated in a what sold video on this guy. Um, but that was really it. We only bought the two items in that one. Um, it sort of dwindled away as the day's gone on. We started really well and then second op shop was pretty good and then just a couple of items in this last one. So. We are going to end it for the day. We lost a, a member of the crew um, throughout, throughout the journey. Um, Paulie, he had to run away. Um, but I think all in all, it's been a pretty successful day. Have you guys enjoyed yeah, the process? geordie has been here for the first time thrifting, and I think we've, I think we've got a new guy. I think we've got a new fellow thrifter on board. He'll have a, he'll have a YouTube channel pretty soon, and uh, he'll, he'll give him a, uh, a quick subscribe. But guys, that'll do us. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I'll be doing a what sold video as always on Sunday. Hopefully, there's a few items in here that I can put into that episode. Thanks very much, CK. Thank you, Jordy. Thank you very much for coming along, thank mate. You. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, guys. Appreciate you tuning in. Hit the subscribe, hit the like if you haven't done so already. Look forward to catching you in the next episode. Until then, we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.